Today, I'm going to give you 10 fungal skin infections along with their causes and their common treatments. Now, we have the first one called arthritis foot, which is commonly known as tinius pedis. It's called by a fungi called trichophyton and is mostly found in warm and moist environments. The treatment here will include topical application of antifungal creams or maybe ointments or maybe swallowing of the uh, of the tabs. Now we have drugs like crotrimazole, we have tabinafine, we have ketoconazole, they all they are antifungal. So you can be given either a cream to apply on top of where you have that infection or maybe a tablet to swallow and the treatments usually go for quite a long period of time because fungi are usually complicated when it comes to treating them. Now the second one is ringworm or what we call tinea corporis and this is caused by several species. We have the first one which is trichophyton and we have microsporan fungi. The treatment includes topical application of antifungal cream. The same thing, you can also be given tablets to swallow and also avoid close contact with people with this condition because this is contagious. We have the third one called tinea cruris which is jock each and this is a fungal infection which commonly affect the groin area due to moisture and friction in that area. Now the same thing topical application of creams and wearing loose fitting clothes. Also keep the area dry because it's prone to getting that infection because that area is moist especially from the sweat. Now the fourth one is nail fungi what we call oncomycosis and this is caused by a fungi that we call dermatophyte. Now treatment will include or antifungal drugs like tabinafine and also topical applications. In addition to this, the removal of, um, according to how severe this case is, removal of the toenail or um, something like razor therapy. Now number five is candidiasis, which is a yeast infection by um, a fungi called Candida albicans. This is mostly found in warm and moist areas like in the mouth, we have vagina and where the skin falls. Now it relaxes where we have moisture. Now the treatment here, yeah, topical application, we have oral antifungal when it comes to severe cases and also maintaining a good hygiene when it comes to vaginal health and also maintain your pH in your vaginal canal because it affects how you're going to get this infection. And also if you have a condition which is causing you to be immunocompromised, you'll have to fix that. Like for example, you have HIV or maybe you have have uh, cancer or something like uh, you have an organ transplant and you have drugs that will help you in lowering your immunity they might lead to you getting this candida albican so um, always make sure that you have that underlying condition first of all fixed before you go to now treating this infection because it will reoccur. Now we have tinea vesicala caused by malassensia yeast we have malassensia fulfur and they lead to that those discolored patches on your skin you can treat this by using topical application of antifungal creams you have medicated shampoos for the scalp and also you avoid excessive sun exposure but also um i heard that you can use oil on your skin to treat the same condition i don't know how true this is i'll try to see whether that works and i'll update you on the comment region with time when I verify this. Now number seven is Pityriasis rosea. Now I don't know how pronunciation is working here but this is believed to be caused by a viral infection but we have some uh, fungal triggers. Now this can go on its own so treatment is not really necessary but you can treat the symptoms by moisturizing and also using something like antihistamines until this thing goes. Now number eight we have sporotrichosis which is caused by a fungi element mostly found in soil and also in plants so you treat this by using oral antifungal like uh, itraconazole and sometimes it's, um, it requires a long-term treatment because it's very stubborn. We have number nine, coxidiodomycosis. This is valley fever. And this is caused by inhaling the spores to this fungal element. Now, this is, it's limited to some certain regions, so it's endemic to some certain region. And the treatment will uh, require antifungal medications like fluconazole, we have itraconazole for severe or prolonged infections. Now, this is still stubborn, so you'll have to take uh, this medication for quite a long period of time. But make sure you take that because it will reoccur in case you don't finish that dose. Now number 10 is dermatophytosis and we have several here. We have tinea babae, we have tinea capitis, we have tinea pedis and several more. They usually differ according to where they're infecting in the body. But uh, the treatment is the same. It's based on the location and it involves using either topical or maybe oral antifungal medications or sometimes even both. Thanks for watching this video. If you gained value, give us a thumbs up and also share this video so those people are interested. And also, 
Uh, let's continue the conversation down in the comment region. See you in the next video.